Hi, sorry it's been a while, um, but I've been making progress, albeit a little slow, with the uh, the mower. Um, I've pressed in the sh main shaft using my friend's hydraulic press. Um, I've changed the pulley here to a 15 tooth from a 10, uh, just to reduce the uh, the gear ratio, because uh, it's quite aggressive. And um, Basically, before I go any further, I need to know whether this thing's actually going to cut grass. So, this is the blade of the existing mower. I intend to replicate this. Let's see what I've got in the uh, scrap metal drop. That'll do. Close enough. To drill this hole, I would normally use my big drill over here in the corner, but my uh, DIY inverter has died, so um, I bought a new VFD, cheapest one on Amazon, £21. Uh, video coming up on that, uh, but for the moment we'll have to use the other one. Right, it's onto the trusty Clark Metal Worker world's finest drill press possibly a bit slower So now we want to make this bit of metal look like this one. We've got some cutting blades and some, uh, I don't know, wings, whatever you call them. So, we mark this up. Engineers lay out black. On this um, blade off the mower, you've got a quite a taper um, on the cutting edge there, and I consulted one of my friends who knows about mowers, and he says that apparently that's just been sharpened a lot, and they start off straight. So um, I had scribed on that line of the taper, but I shall ignore that. I'll just grind it, grind it straight. All right, I'm going to try and put these uh, wings on this sheet sheet of metal. Um, I'm going to have to do some clever clamping in the vise. Okay, so I've clamped a bit of um, metal with the area that I want to bend uh, exposed here. I've used this bit of box that's welded together. Um, it's just a, in my scrap bin um, to sort of support this side. Might move you out of the way. You're in the way. work better than 
I was expecting, actually. That's not bad. Look at that. Bad for a my eye job. Sharp enough, cut a few blades of grass. Cutting edges are all just pretty much on the just below the edge of the edge of the mower deck, which is about where we want it, I think. If uh, YouTube magic went on there to uh, uh, get to that last shot, um, as you can see, this um, driver, which I so carefully milled out a nice pocket for, uh, is not connected. Um, in fact, we've I had to get a new driver board. This one just wasn't up to it. it just for whatever reason, it it didn't give the motor enough torque. So I got a marginally better. Um, motor driver this one seems to work fairly well as you saw from the video um, so I'm just gonna have to pop that off get this mounted similar sort of position um, and and then crack on with uh, batteries now this um, this project's dragged on a bit longer than I anticipated um, as usual so I think I'm gonna um, park it for a bit work on it over the winter so that it's it's ready for next spring yeah there's, there's still a fair bit to do got to build the battery packs work out how to how to mount them in a nice way um, yeah build them fit them get it all nicely wired up um, this prong out here um, from the testing I've done so far I don't think I, I was leaving that on just in case I needed to put a, a sort of support strut to sort of stop it from flapping around with the torque but it seems to be okay so what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll pull the wires back through um, and I'll probably um, solder these nice thick wires directly to the um, the motor rather than going down the the puny little wires that are supplied with it so I'd imagine they're going to um, inhibit the um, motor a little bit um, and then I've got to make, make a nice case to cover it over and um, you know belt guard that sort of thing so that's all going to take quite a while um, and I want to do some other other stuff in the meantime so sorry I haven't got around to doing the batteries yet promised that last time alright um, thanks for watching and see you next time